is an OCXO oven controlled crystal oscillator um, at 10 megahertz, which I'm going to mount in this box with some uh, power and an output connector so I can bring this up when I do microwave stuff and have a 10 megahertz reference for everything. So I think it will fit pretty well um, on this side of the box here and then I'll put the connectors down down on this side. There should be plenty of room for power and output whichever way I decide to do it. And so um, and to mount this I got some like heavy duty velcro which I think will be enough and I might put some foam pieces in or something since this uh, it warms up quite a bit since it is an oven but before I do that I'll make sure it's all working if you pull up the data sheet um, let's see pin 1 here is ground pin 4 is the plus power supply and if we detangle the oscilloscope probe from all the other random cables I have it says uh, pin 5 is this one, is the output. So that will go we'll ground the probe like that. And if I connect the, connect the battery, you um, should see 10 megahertz on the oscilloscope. So, maybe I can... really don't like having to use alligator clips to power stuff, but for a short test, I think we'll be okay. And we ground that, with those guys out of the way. Make sure that's not shorting on anything. Mm, okay. And if we pan up, zoom in a little bit, we have a 10 megahertz sine wave. Let's see, measure, clear type, we'll get the peak to peak. Oh, RMS is always interesting. Frequency. It says 10 megahertz. It has a little trouble if you zoom in too much. Just over 3 volts peak to peak. This thing is warming up as I'd expect. Oops, gotta zoom out a little bit. This is an oven, so yeah, it's, uh, it's warm to the touch. It's sucking all the juice out of this battery. But we will turn it off since don't just want to make sure it works and we can start uh, drilling some holes in the box turns out I have exactly the two drill bits I want but I've drilled plastic before, and I'm going to start with a much smaller hole so I don't destroy my nice box. from a swap meet, so. Hey, big bucks. It's as good as it's gonna get.
with the tools I have. So now we gotta wake up the computer and let's see, what's the best way to do this? This should be 10 megahertz in power. Moment of truth. I've got the uh, output connected directly into channel two of the scope. And if I plug this in, hopefully we will see a 10 megahertz signal there and uh, no smoke or anything. We can measure... Uh, where's frequency? There it is. On channel two. So, here goes. Well, if we... Oops, change it to channel two. No smoke coming out of the thing. Doesn't look quite as nice, probably because this is not a calibrated scope probe. Mm -hmm. 